Hey everyone, welcome back. So it's a cold night in Southport and I've decided to come to another worst rated hotel. You guys said I should go to the Scarsbrook Hotel in Southport because it's pretty grim. It's had over a thousand bad reviews. What are people saying? Don't go here. We didn't have a choice as we were booked to come here on a bus tour. All bad. Scary reviews are sadly true. Worst hotel I've ever been to. What a show of a hotel. Disgraceful. Avoid it at all costs. And this one's quite funny. Avoid and ignore the hotel description. Elegant and stylish decor with modern luxury. Can it really be that bad? It's further up there. I want to get out of the cold because there's a little bit of sleetiness in the air. Let's go and check it out. Well, here it is in front of me. And as you can see, a bit of an issue with parking. I don't get all these cars just randomly parked in front of the hotel because nobody else can get in but let's head in wow look at that once again an impressive chandelier so nobody seems to be here well, there's people around the back but no one's coming to see me hello your room is 227 yeah then the second floor. Okay. The left behind you just press number two. Thank you. This lift doesn't look very good, does it? I can't see no light on it. Is it coming? Absolutely. Wow, this really is the slowest lift in the world. Some interesting stickers that people have put on the lift. Floor number two, interesting decor straight away. Which way do I go? Oh, these rooms must be posh because they've got names on the door. So I'm in room number 227, which I guess is through here. God, those lights are freaking me out a little bit. Can you hear? Hang on, just wait. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a Christmas party going on downstairs. Here's my room, right down the end. And straight away, look how the door's very flimsy. And here's my room with the squeakiest door ever. I know it's for extra security, but it's never nice seeing something like this on a hotel door. It looks like that's already been, had some pressure put on it. So I've gone for a single room, but with a double bed. Well, welcome to my room. Now I know there's a Christmas party going on downstairs, so there might be a little bit of noise. Hopefully that'll finish really early so I can get a good night's sleep. Let's go and check out the room, which is, it's pretty small, but I think it has everything you need. I don't know whether the camera picks that up, but there's two, three, four big cobwebs. Interesting furniture in the room and what looks like dirty scuff marks up the wall. Don't think these light switches have been cleaned in a while. Is that mold? I really hope not. Let's see if we can switch the lights on. Oh. Okay, did you hear that? Okay, that's not good. That sounded like it fizzed a little bit then. <laughs> yeah, it did. I've got a fairly big TV, which looks like it's actually just been plonked here. There's no light bulb in there. A rather nice mirror. A sanitized remote for the TV. Double check it works. That's quite an impressive TV actually. It's pretty big, isn't it? Again, love the old furniture. Check out the chest of drawers. Now, I don't need to look for the hairdryer. Got a holy Bible, which again, doesn't look like it's uh, ever been touched. I thought they're normally by the bedside. And the hairdryer is here. Look at this beast. Once again, it's like half of it is missing. Does it work? Scared to touch it. So then filled in the test dates for the electric. That'll do the job. So quite a big kettle in the room with lots of nice lime scale in the bottom. Loads of bits in there. Two 
cups they're pretty clean and a nice little goodie bag of coffee and tea nice to know there's been sanitized for my safety i've got an interesting shelf not quite sure what that's for i've got a, a nice big mirror and a chair by the bed so if i get a little bit bored of laying on the bed i can sit on the chair i assume the chair is for there but it's pretty dirty i'd love to just whack that right now but i don't want to breathe in all that dust the window i've just noticed i don't know if the camera picks it up but the window is absolutely filthy i'll show you it in the morning so you can see just how dirty this window is can I open the window? Oh, I can. <laughs> I can just push it open. I don't think I don't want to pull this off because if I do this and this breaks, I can't. <laughs> so the window it shuts, but it's not shut. So a gust of wind. Well, that would open that. I hope that isn't, but that looks like a plaster up there. See now, the only problem that I can see here is me getting a bit of a draft on my neck considering the bed is here my head is there and I can't shut this window properly as you can see look it doesn't lock so there's a really cold icy draft and a bit of gust of wind that's going to open so I'm going to get a cold neck so I'll do the bed test in just a moment check out the pillows there's a few few marks on them but what I did notice was um I just pull this back you can see just how dirty that pillow is camera picks it up the yellow stains on that which is really disgusting Ugh, that's so stained it's gross I don't want to put my head on there really the bed's clean but it's got these little black spots I really hope they're not well, I think they are they're not moving I don't think so there's like crumbs. It looks like crumbs. Those are little black, little brown things. Will freak me out if they are. I won't be sleeping in here. Quick bed test. That's a firm bed. Very firm. You can feel the springs, but it's nice and firm. A bit bouncy. Once again, it's it's two beds pushed together. The other thing about the bed that I'm not overly excited about is the curtains. They're like literally on your pillow, which is not nice. We have a very old wardrobe with an ironing board an iron also got a few extra towels so let's check out the bathroom this is a similar kind of floor and i've got in my kitchen i say that and then i'm looking here by the way my phone's in here Anna. i'm looking around the rest of the bathroom and it's a it's a real mix match of taste because that looks reasonably new the tiles look really old. I don't know what's happened there. Well, that tile has been taken out. I don't know whether it's to do with the toilet. Maybe this toilet was put in. There must have been a phone in here at some point as well. A mirror that my nan would have in her house. And this worktop. Look at that. In here too. Heated towel rail. Nice, nice touch. Now I'm no electrician, but I don't think I want to get that wire wet, considering that the shower is just there and that could leak on that. I'm sure if you're an electrician, you'll tell me that's safe, I hope. So it's a shower bath. It's a real mix match of old and new because it's a fairly old shower head and these plastic switches. I've got something to wash myself in. That looks, ow, that's gonna hurt my bum. The enamel was a big gap there, but that's really sharp, it's gonna hurt my bum. And I don't know what was there. But there's no hairs in the bath that I can see, which is good. We've got soap, a couple of glasses, and I guess that was for the, the old shower curtain that used to go across. Got a loft hatch there. Reminds me of a 90s bathroom. So before we check out the rest of the hotel, I just want to say a massive thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Now more than ever, our internet relevance has been rapidly increasing, from streaming our favourite shows to keeping in touch with our loved ones, and even our banking is mostly done online these days. We'd like to think our information is safe, but as our online footprint increases, so does our need for proper security. Surfshark is a VPN service that protects your information by encrypting all the data that you send through the internet, keeping anyone unwanted from seeing it. Another great reason to use a VPN is that content from streaming 
services can be restricted based on what country you're in. With Surfshark, you can solve that problem by simply changing your location, which is great for me as I travel a lot. And as you know, I like to stay in hotels. You might be surprised how cheap you can get your hotel stay. And I love a lot of the new American shows that are not currently streaming in the UK. Right now, Surfshark has a really good deal on. By using my link in the description and my promo code WALKWITHME, you will get 83% off, which means for something like a couple of pounds a month, you could be fully protected. Plus, you'll get three months for free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you try it out and you don't like it, you can simply cancel your subscription, get your money back, and buy a cheap cup of coffee instead. Right, let's go and check out the rest of the hotel. Again, as you know, I love exploring these hotels and just having a walk around. You can get lost in them. No idea where I'm going. It's just a dead end. Real creaky floors. That's a fire exit, I take it. To restaurant and leisure club for reception use front lift. All right, so this is where we go down to the restaurant and leisure club. We'll go down there in a minute. Let's just have a look up here. Don't think anyone stays in this room, but whoever wanted to get in this door had a bit of an issue. Look at the. So I guess the stairs go up the centre bit and these are like proper suites here if you've got a bit of extra cash. Oh wow, look at that. Church town suite with a huge big mirror. Once again, the leather sofas are a thing. Now that is not a nice outlook. There's some Lynn chocolate out there. There's more rooms down here. I think you just get lost wandering around. Look at the state of that window. That hasn't been cleaned ever. Wow. Love the wallpaper. Look up there. This is really weird, but the floor is really spongy as I'm walking. Let's just have a quick look up the stairs still very grand. What is it with these hotels and these big chandeliers? They do look nice though. Well, this is a bit spooky up here. Again, interesting furniture. Look at that. Let's go right to the top. The only problem with chandeliers is cleaning them because they get very dirty. This area is quite cold. That's really random, some weighing scales. And I don't know how well that shows up because it's pretty dark up here, but that is the oddest piece of furniture I've seen. Look at the detailing on it. These go on. No, they don't. Look at this. It's so grand. And actually, this is in uh, pretty good nick. A very old mirror there, but it's kind of freaking me out up here. It's really spooky. The Tarlington suite. Let me know if you've stayed in there, what it's like. Again, this is not, it's got a net curtain up because it's got the awful view. Wow, it smells of smoke. So let's go down to the restaurant and the leisure club. We can go in the lift. Can we go in the lift? I don't think we can. That's not working. Maybe if I turn one of those on, I don't know. All right, we'll go down the stairs. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is so spongy, like underneath the carpet. I don't know what they've got under there, but it sounds so weird. All right, let's head down the stairs to the restaurant and the cocktail bar. So there is a, uh, a Christmas party. Oh, right. So you can't just like walk down the stairs in a circle. You've got to 
go through the doors, walk around. So there is a Christmas party going on downstairs, so I'm gonna to try to be discreet, but there'll be a lot of people there and a lot of music, so I might have to mute it. See it, that's a cocktail bar. Who still uses payphones? Interesting cupboards. So that's the other entrance into that room. It's this way. So I don't think the leisure club's open, is it? Try the lift again down here. No, it's not. I will ask in reception. These heaters, so old. Now oh, this is cold down here. It's a fire exit. This hotel doesn't look this big from the front. It's really strange. Random loo roll. What is the Derby room? Don't know, can't go in there. Wow, look at the hotel from 1890, amazing. So this is the restaurant. Well, this is cozy. <laughs> I guess this is all laid out for breakfast in the morning. Wow, this actually is Quite pretty. Look at that over the fireplace. Little Christmas lights in there. Don't know if you can see that, but there's stockings. I don't know whether this is part of the hotel or not. There's a bar in here. Look at this. Amazing. What are they, Santa's boots? It's a real old England bar down here. Watching the football, not interested. I don't know if this is actually part of the hotel. There's music in here, so I'm gonna have to cut this. That's somebody's room. What's this? old lift that goes down maybe to the leisure center I don't know service lift does the lift work I just called it it does should I go in or will it not take me down there anymore probably won't this is an interesting lift isn't it oh never seen a lift door close like that before This will just take me to reception. So there's a switch here. I don't know what it does. Morning. So, interesting sleep. Bit of a cold draft from this blooming window. But I just wanted to show you during the daylight just how dirty the window is. And I don't think it's been cleaned for a while. Especially on the outside and on the inside as well. 
Well, you can't deny again about the once brilliance and once grandeur of this old hotel. Obviously, it's fallen on hard times and it's a little bit of an Aladdin's cave because from the front, it looks quite small, but it actually goes back quite far. And out here in the car park, well, it's a bit of a free for all if or where you can actually park your car. There's some parking down here and there's uh, more parking up there, but it's very limited. So I ended up parking just on the street. So the bed was a little lumpy, it was all right. What I didn't like was that window. I couldn't shut it properly and there was a constant cold draft on the back of my neck. The fact that the bed is right up against the window is, um, is not great, especially when the window doesn't shut. The bathroom was a little bit of a mixture of different tastes, weren't it, from the 90s, from the 80s, and I think maybe even earlier than that. You'll be glad to know I didn't have a bath, so I didn't hurt my bum on that chunky bit in the bath. The doors are very thin, so you can literally hear people walking up and down and actually going into their rooms all night. Yes, the hotel is a bit grubby in place, is, but also very grand. It's a shame about the swimming pool and the fitness center, which I understand hasn't been open for a good few years. Again, some of the old furniture in this place is absolutely mind-blowing. Where they get it from, I don't know, but I seem to find it a lot in these hotels. It does look like they've had new carpets, very spongy underfoot, and also a lot of painting has been going on around the hotel, it looks like as well. There are still some areas that look a little bit grubby, but on the whole, it seems like it's getting a little bit of an upgrade. The rooms do feel a little bit tight. The room that I'm in, obviously, until they get that window fixed, I won't want to be staying here in a hurry. So do let me know if you've stayed here, drop a comment below, or would you stay here? Also, if you want to check out more worst rated hotels, don't forget, there's some more just up the road in Blackpool. Just click here or here. Do give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.